Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Alright, another day, another beta update for the Pocophone F1 that is 9.6.13. This is a closed beta. You will have to install it through TWRP and we will talk about all those things in the entire video. But before we do that, let me tell you that MIUI 11 is around the corner. I don't have a specific date. A new stable update will be coming out for Poco F1 in June and or July first or second week. So hold on to those questions because I see a lot of those questions and before we dive into this particular update if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's get going All right, guys, so welcome to another quick and first look video of MIUI 9.6.13 for the Pocophone F1. Now, as we are nearing MIUI 11, these updates will start to reduce, but nonetheless, uh, we're not going to take a lot of time to install it. We will quickly have a look at it uh, after the installation. So, the basic installation procedure is you need to have TWRP installed and make sure you back up all your data and you have more than 50% battery. Although my phone is just on 14%, so ignore that. I keep taking risks with my Poco. I've copied the file, that's a ROM file and DFE in the phone's internal memory. So wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, cache, system, data. Then go to install, select the ROM file and select the disable force encryption. Wait for the flash to complete. Now there's nothing much after this, so I'll quickly boot into the ROM and then I'll get back to you guys and show you all the information. All right guys, so the phone has booted up and before we begin, before I show you around this particular update, let me just tell you what they have to say. So this is basically MIUI 10 Global Beta ROM 9.6.13 change log preview the highlight over here is optimization and bug fixes so what they have done here is they have optimized screenshot editing experience optimized fast reply functions support floating window to open instant messaging app notification fixed incorrectly touching the notification bar during a call occasionally i've not had that problem i really really hope you've not had that problem as well but if you've had well guess what they have fixed it in this particular beta the screen fingerprint does not display. Now this is not for our phone of course because it doesn't have an in-display fingerprint scanner. Next up, calendar daily sync of events for India and optimization in FB birthdays. Now if you look at this daily sync of events for India, this is something which is hinting at MIUI 11. So there are a few features which are India specific and Xiaomi had recently committed to releasing those features in India soon. So that may come in MIUI 11. Now the last thing that it says here is full change log will be posted on Friday as usual. So this is definitely going to be the global beta and if you're on a locked bootloader, want to flash this update, wait until Friday once the global beta comes out, you can flash it through the updater. Now let's go to settings and check a few things over here. So if we go to about phone, this is of course 9.6.13 beta and let's see what the security patch is. We are still on the 1st of May security patch. I really don't know what's up with Xiaomi. This is of course again based on Android 9. Now apart from this, if we say go to explore new features over here, we still have quick replies which work. So if we go to home screen and recents and if we go to home screen, we still don't have the blur recents option which should have been included in this particular update so the note 6 pro or note 5 pro might get that feature but as of now it is not available in the pocophone f1 to me if you ask there are not many new features that i see over here at the same time uh, this is a very very first interaction that i'm having they have not claimed any changes to the touch drivers and stuff like that now before i wrap this video up for you guys let me quickly give you an update on a couple of things that's going to happen with the poco this phone will be getting a new display tomorrow under warranty that is free of cost and i have you know short first half of that video so the second second half should be short tomorrow that video should come fine so more or less this is a beta update which just has optimization and bug fixes that is the reason this is a very very quick video this is not a long long video if you like this video guys hit 
the like button at the bottom of this video and do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because a lot of videos will keep coming every single day and every day at evening 6 p.m we will be streaming some gameplay action as well so that's all for today's video until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye